everybody. This is Christina Sears from ChristinaMSears.com. And I um, just wanted to say a few things. Um, figured I'd do a video instead of writing it out, something a little different. Um, as many of you know, I recently moved from Pennsylvania to Texas. So, and I guess that basically made me an empty nester because this is the first time I moved somewhere without my kids. Now, my boys are 20 and 22. Um, they stayed in Pennsylvania. I'm trying to talk them into coming out to Texas. Um, they're thinking about it, but um, it's been harder than I thought it would be because it's not like I moved to another house you know, in the same city. I'm in a totally different state. <laughs> so that was hard. So I've been in Texas for about, I think it's been about two months, maybe close to three months. Kind of lost track. Um, so I've been slowly trying to get back into a workout routine. And it's like I start strong and then something happens and then I miss a couple days and my eating's been totally off. Um, so I started a um, Les Mills Pump Brazil Butt Lift Hybrid that my friend James Maganello made for me. I hope I said his name right. Uh, so I believe I started last week. Started off good and then I got some cluster headaches for some reason and missed three days. Um, but that's all over with now so got back up on track today actually. So today was a Brazil butt lift day and it was, and I hope I say this right, cardio ache. That one is, it's a lot of fun but it's hard. Um, I guess because it's like choreographed so you got to give yourself a chance to get used to the moves. But I'm telling you, you sweat like you just did an insanity workout. <laughs> Not that I have any right to say that because I never did insanity, but the sweat on my clothes looks like some of the pictures I've seen of people doing insanity. So it's definitely a great cardio workout. And then I also did high and tight, which is just like kind of like sculpting for your middle area. So it worked your butt, of course. Um, outer thighs, inner thighs. Um, it's a good workout. And I can tell that I'm going to be sore. <laughs> so let's see how I feel tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is actually supposed to be a scheduled rest day. But I haven't decided since I missed a couple days if I just want to go on to the next day's workout or do yoga. Well, we'll see how I feel when I get up tomorrow morning. If I'm really sore from today's workout, I just might do yoga. So, um, that's where I stand right now. Just hoping to get back on track, get my eating back on track, and um, just get used to living life as an empty nester. My kids aren't here. It's sad, but, you know, everybody's okay. So, we're all doing fine. Um, Still trying to talk my boys into moving out here to Texas because I know they'd love it out here. Um, going to the pool all the time and um, I haven't experienced the summers here, so but I usually like hot weather. Um, this past week it's been in the upper 90s, but I'm told by the locals that that's not even hot yet. <laughs> so we'll see how I feel in like July and August. But I'm looking forward to experiencing the winters here. Because from what I've heard, it sounds like the winters here will be similar to our summers in Pennsylvania. Which I'm, I'm going to love that because I hate winter. I love snow. If it was snow every day, I'd be happy. But just cold and windy, I hate it. So, um... This is my video log for today. Um, thank you for listening and viewing, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.